WKYT First Alert Severe Weather Day continues as we track this major winter storm. Want to draw your attention to three of the four, all four cams, but especially on uh, two of those here. Lexington Mountain Parkway. Look at how hard it is now snowing in Lexington. You, you can't see the road hardly from the cam that is just on top of the road. Mountain Parkway cam uh, toward Wolf County. Frankfort cam changing drastically. It took a little while to get that snow into Franklin County. Farther north, it's going to take a little while longer. Florence still just getting in on a few snow flurries. That's why we said those snowfall totals would drop off drastically in the northern Kentucky because you're going to get in on the back edge of the snows. You're not going to have it for as long as what folks in the central and eastern Kentucky are going to be dealing with. Winter storm warning continues in effect for the entire state. Snow bands cranking and that's going to continue to be the trend over the next several hours no matter which direction we take you on your defender radar network we are indeed seeing those bursts of snow that are coming down you can pick up a quick one to two inches of snow every hour in a setup like this getting a lot of reports out of southern kentucky uh, areas along and south of 64 especially where we have been seeing rulers disappearing in the snow so we're now pushing 10, 11, 12 inches in some areas. Watch the little blip show up right here on your screen. That was a little lightning bolt. We've had thunder snow that has been reported across parts of southern Kentucky. The moisture train is still throwing juice into the region. I'm seeing some lightning coming out of the Knoxville, Tennessee area on this. That's how you know you're dealing with a healthy storm system. The low is still back to the west. See the curly Q? That's going to work its way across the region. So your future radar showing the heavy snow and watch the timeline. This is every hour. So it isn't like this is just over the next couple or three hours. This goes until midnight. Notice how the snow bands just keep on pushing at the area. And by late this evening and midnight, notice how the snows are now coming at us from Ohio and West Virginia. Initially, this is where we are with the heavy snow in the central and eastern Kentucky. Snows are coming at us from the south. Low passes by. Now all of a sudden we start to see the comma head snows kick in across central and eastern Kentucky. We've got to watch that northeastern sky later tonight. Because of that, eastern Kentucky, you've got 20 inches in you in some areas. We're going to have upwards potentially on a couple of spots. We may push two feet of snow. All the areas in red likely to at least wind up 8 to 16 inches. There's a chance for Lexington to have the snowiest single day on record. We have got to get to 13 inches for that to happen. Uh, models are really trying to get us to 13 inches fairly quickly. This is one of the in-house computer models that we have. Look at the snowfall total that it is spitting out for Lexington through the evening into tonight. Last year, we had two single days with those two separate storms of 10 inches or more in Lexington, 10 and 10.2, one in February, one in March. Those are both top five snowiest days on record. So here we are less than a year later, and we are dealing with another big snowstorm impacting traffic. And we're starting to see now some issues. Looks like they have shut down parts of Interstate 75 here near Mount Vernon because of semi trucks on the icy roads here and all the collisions. Road closures are a good possibility as we go through the rest of the day. Keep it right here on WKYT, and of course, we will keep you up to date all afternoon long. WKYT First Alert Severe Weather Day. You know, we've advertised this over the past few days as a storm that can shut down roads. Here you go, and it's a biggie. Interstate 75 into just south of Mount Vernon, at least part of Interstate 75 into Rockcastle County is now shut down because of uh, semi truck accidents that have been piling up there over the past couple of hours. So I 75 is closed right there at the 56, and uh, that is uh, just to the south of Mount Vernon, roughly three miles, not too far away from Laurel County. So again, Interstate 75 closed there. Defender Radar Network continues to pick up on the heavy snow bands across the entire area. This is a setup that will continue to dump one and two inch per hour snows across most areas. Where we had a little break, southeastern Kentucky is going to fill in quickly. Thunder, lightning has been reported in southern Kentucky already today on a couple of occasions. Anyone is going to be fair game to hear a rumble of thunder in the distance as we go through the evening. That big powerhouse storm is continuing to pummel 
parts of the area. Let's take a look outside right now, Winchester Road, and uh, see what we've got going on on Winchester Road. White out conditions. Look at that cam. And wow, oh wow. Check out this shot there, guys. Uh, look at the white out conditions right now in Lexington. Absolutely. Uh, visibility there is down to just, what, maybe 40, 50 feet at most. Absolutely incredible. You know, you look at those snows right there, guys. That's why you're going to get additional roads to get shut down. This is how you get, unfortunately, accidents to happen. And this is how you can get motorists stranded in a, in a situation like this. It's where you get an accident in front of you and you're stuck in, a, in your car. And all of a sudden, while you're sitting there waiting on traffic to clear, an hour later, it snowed three inches on you. And road crews can't get out there. So that's what we're going to be watching as we go through the afternoon and evening. Well, we remember that on the Bluegrass Parkway uh, last spring. It was hours that's and hours so that people were trapped. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. And we have more team coverage of the blizzard that has gripped central Kentucky, including Madison County. It's been a snowy day around Richmond and Berea. WKYT's Caitlin Sentner is joining us now with what's happening just across the river. Snow plows are out in both Richmond and Madison County. From the looks of some of the streets, it's hard to tell. The snow has been coming down consistently since we arrived a couple hours ago. I can't call Richmond a ghost town. People are getting out. We've seen cars on the roads. The trucks and SUVs seem to be getting around all right, but it's the smaller cars that are having the most difficulty. The roads are slick, and we've seen spinning tires, some cars sliding. Luckily, no collisions. We did check in with the Madison County Sheriff's Department, and they say it's been a pretty quiet day so far. They're hoping that continues. This morning, they responded to one escort for medical personnel and assisted one motorist. Now, we did see a plow go by a couple of minutes ago. It's my guess it won't take long for these roads to again be snow covered. We also did see a pizza delivery company go by in Madison County. Caitlin Sentner, WKYT. <laughs> Caitlin, you see the snow there in her face, oh, certainly. Yes. Uh, from there, we turn our attention north to Scott County, where Toyota remains open today despite the heavy snowfall. But the roads there are treacherous. In fact, police have been urging people in Scott County to stay off the roads. WKYT's Mike, Mike Byer joins us now. He's in Georgetown. As the snow continues to pile up here in Georgetown, Police Chief Mike Bossy tells me so far operations have been running smoothly. We have 16 extra units that are doing nothing but patrolling, uh, looking for motors to assist, and providing rides to people that might need them. Chief Bossy says so far they have only had to respond to a handful of minor accidents and slide offs. He says a big reason for that is because people are staying home. He adds they're providing transportation for emergency services. Meanwhile, Scott County Emergency Management says they have opened up three shelters for people who may need them. Church of the Nazarene on Lemons Mill. Uh, uh, Sadieville Christian Church and uh, Stamping Ground Baptist Church. They're all three are open currently. Now, emergency management and police have been working together very closely, and they both offer this advice stay off the roads and stay home. In Georgetown, Mike Byer, WKYT. Now, Georgetown police say that officers will be taking video of the conditions while they're out patrolling and will be posting them to their Facebook page for people to view. A lot of interesting sights out there. <laughs> Absolutely. What a day. One to remember. We're going to take one more look at the forecast when we come back. Stay with us here on WKYT. WKYT rules winner. WKYT first alert severe weather day continues. We look at our live sky cams uh, near whiteout conditions right now. Lexington along the Mountain Parkway. Uh, we're getting all kinds of roads now with issues, obviously. Look at northern Kentucky, though. Florence, you've been setting this one out so far. You're going to get in on some snow. You're not going to get as much, though. Frankfurt, your totals will be lighter than what Lexington is saying. Out of these four locations, Mountain Parkway and Lexington are likely to pick up greater than 10 inches of snow, and in some cases, quite a bit more than 10 inches of snow. We are on our way, getting a lot of reports of 12 inches already on the ground in parts of our region. Winter storm warning 
is in effect for central and eastern Kentucky. We look at your Defender radar network, and the snows continue to absolutely pummel the area. And you're getting these bands that work through. They can drop a quick one to two inches every hour. That's what we've been seeing right now. And uh, Twitter reports and Twitter uh, you know, snowfall measurements coming out of southern Kentucky really confirming that with folks that are taking measurements on a snowboard, cleaning them off like you're supposed to do, then an hour later taking another measurement and finding two or three inches extra snow from an hour before. Nuts. Snow coming out of the volunteer state of Tennessee. East Tennessee, it's mainly rain. Don't focus on the rain part of it. Just look at all the juice that is coming on in to town. That future radar telling the story on how the snows hang across central and eastern Kentucky. That's 6 o'clock, 7, 8 o'clock, into 9, 10, 11 o'clock or so this evening. We're going to continue to hang on to the nasty conditions. A general 8 to 16, some local amounts greater than 20 inches are a possibility. Micah, the snow is now beginning to add to the travel troubles, especially along Interstate 75. Yeah, I just want to give you some updates on Twitter. Chloe Hargis, nine inches of snow there in Somerset. A lot of you guys just going through Twitter. I mean, another nine inch reading there in Mount Vernon and Rockcastle County, where we have had that backup with all the semis there on that roadway, I 75 northbound, being shut down due to that. So there's a lot going on. Just know that once again, I 75 northbound. It's my marker 54. That's three miles south of Mount Vernon. It's just close to the Livingston region and just north of East Bernstad as you travel toward Laurel County. That's going to be shut down uh, south of Mount Vernon once again, northbound, because several semis just stuck on that road. They just can't get up that, that road there on I-75. Here's Madison, southbound I-75. Very snow covered. We travel northbound just a few miles. Hit the Clays Ferry Bridge, jumping off into Fayette County. And you can see Athens Boonsboro. Yeah, it just isn't looking good anywhere you look, Chris. Boy, that is indeed the case. And, uh, guys, that's a, a good rundown there of all the nasty roads yep. that are out there. And yep. it's only going to get worse from here as winds gust up to 35 miles an hour. Now, as the snowfall totals come up, the drifts are going to start to kick in. Well, we're going to stay on top of it yep, here. Yep, we'll be here all day. We break in uh, as we need to and with updates throughout the afternoon in our next newscast, of course, at 4. Join us on WKYT.com for updates. Stay warm and safe and have a great weekend.